Welcome to this new add-on spotlight. Earlier this week, we already looked at the B78XH0.1.11 release. But I've got some news for you. As always, when I'm posting a video about something new, uh, it's almost directly followed by a new version. And that's also the case by the, uh, or in case of the Boeing 78XH, which has been updated uh, again, right? Nice stuff. So before we jump into the details, I first need to, I would say, start some things because you can see it's uh, completely powered down. So let me do that. Let me scroll down. Actually, I'm gonna move the buttons here to the different view. Gonna switch on the external power. Right, you can select either one. APU generators. APU on. And the rest is fine for now. So, um, while the, or let me do also the IRS. Right, because for the navigation, because that will take some time. So, what did they change? Well, they changed, as you can see, the uh, font. <laughs> they are now using a uh, custom font, which I think is more appropriate compared to the font they used uh, in the uh, previous release. Uh, I, I really like it, and they fixed the FMC uh, separator, this one, uh, which you see in the middle, because it was broken in the last one. Uh, besides that, they added uh, separators for the route discontinu discontinuity, the hold at, the hold exit, the pre-flight, the wind, and so on, right? Which means that if you would schedule a flight, uh, those are now being uh, correctly shown. Let me first uh, ignore the... Make sure that the uh, route is correctly configured. Uh, so th those are all nice uh, things. So they also added the fixed constraint wrapping uh, because there was an issue with that, the wrapping of the text. And they added all FMC lines have overflow set to hidden, uh, which prevents that uh, some things are not or cannot be seen correctly. Uh, then they also added the constraint box no longer uh, collide with the uh, CTR in plan mode and the CTR, right? If we go to here, uh, we need to zoom out a bit. Probably it's better to just do this. Uh, this is the CTR, right? And you can set it to plan mode and there was a specific issue with it. Um, I didn't face it, but to be honest, I also didn't use the uh, Boeing 787 uh, the last few days. And it fixed the top of descent calculator when SIM SB importer was used, right? As we could see, the uh, SimBrief importer well, had a massive update. And uh, that one has been, I would say, updated now to ensure that the top of descent calculation was done correctly. Uh, one of the last items is that the select heading uh, line hides automatically after 10 seconds when the AP is not in heading select mode. That's good. And the right uh, mouse button no longer triggers FMC events. Uh, so if you now right click right nothing happens uh, that that's good uh, so you need to use the left button to uh, to import everything so let me import uh, one of the flight plans I'm at a completely different airport as you can see I was flying from Bordeaux to Seattle yes yes to complete the challenge which you can earn points with because I just wanted to give it a try and I simply didn't have time yet to try it because it's a pretty long flight right so the flight plan has been imported and if we now go to the uh, legs, you will see that it's now more nicely, I would say, seen, right? I really like the, the, the way they put it here. And also uh, when I scroll down, right, when I would set, for example, uh, or can so set a, let's set the arrival for uh, Seattle and then use uh, Griffey as the trends and then say route and then I think we selected everything right let's see why didn't they do it normally it does it like this Normally the exec button starts to blink, but probably we're too far from the airport in this case. 
so I can't show you what it really does so let me try it once for the departing airport yes I know that I'm not on the departing airport as you could see I'm in a different airport uh, I'm gonna use I'm just gonna press let's say some options and then hit activate execute and if we would now go to the uh, legs we would see that they added some changes there you can see uh, there's now a hold that right so there's a hold being automatically imported that's cool because if you're missing the i would say approach then you can uh see the route discontinu discontinuity and then it will continue with the rest of the route so you can see that they divided it in subsections so that's cool and it's all being done automatically when importing the uh, plan in um or using simbrief sorry so those are cool additions uh, i really like it i really like the work that they are doing it looks like that they are bringing up more speed now to release a more i would say more updates uh, compared to what they did previously because we needed to wait a while for sim update number six and seven but of course we don't need to forget that it's all being done by community members right so people who have normal jobs probably uh, i would say outside of the work they're doing for the community so a lot of changes again to the FMC, uh, some fixes, uh, some nice additions, I would say. Uh, and I'm really looking forward for some new updates coming to this aircraft uh, soon. Here ends the video. Hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.